Many terrifying deep-sea creatures can be found in the abyss, shrouded in utter darkness and without competition from other life forms. Here we'll examine some of these creatures that haunt the deepest part of our oceans. There are many reasons why people go diving to the abyss. Some want to explore or document the creatures that live there. Others want to find treasure. Still, others go there just for sport. Perhaps the most sinister of these divers are those searching for strange creatures. So without further ado, here are the most terrible deep sea creatures you've ever seen before. Number 20. Goliath Grouper Like most groupers, the Atlantic Goliath Grouper hunts in ambush and consumes large fish, crustaceans, and even small sharks. This species may play a significant role in the reef food web because it is known that reefs with many predators, like Atlantic Goliath Groupers, are healthier than reefs with no predators. Atlantic Goliath Groupers do not chew, instead they consume their prey whole. They quickly and effectively consume whole fish or large invertebrates by applying enough negative pressure in their huge mouths. Even in areas where rules have been put in place to offer it partially or entire legal protection from fishing, the Atlantic Goliath Grouper's massive size, slow development, and ease of catch all contribute to slowing its recovery. For example, in the USA and Brazil. To establish whether the Atlantic Goliath Grouper species is rebounding or whether more stringent legal protection may be needed, it is crucial to keep an eye on population patterns. The Caribbean Sea and nearby areas, as well as off the west coast of Africa, are home to the Atlantic Goliath Grouper. The tropical Pacific Ocean, from Mexico to Peru, is the only place where a nearly related species, the Pacific Goliath Grouper, may be found. Due to their somewhat differing genetic makeup, scientists have only lately classified the species into two. Although the two species resemble one another in appearance and behavior, little is known about the Pacific Goliath Grouper's population trends or state of conservation. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Comb Jelly The comb jelly is a beautiful animal with an oval form and eight rows of little plates resembling combs. It uses these plates to propel itself through the water by beating them like combs. A shimmering rainbow appearance is produced due to the comb rows dividing up, diffracting light as the creature swims. Some species of comb jellies are known to be voracious predators of other jellies, with stomachs that can expand to contain prey that is nearly half their size. Jelly is a straightforward creature with a limited number of organs with specialized functions. Most jellies can detect chemical residues in the water, which assists them in identifying food. Furthermore, many jellies are equipped with a gravity-sensitive mechanism known as statisist, which helps them orient themselves in the water. The fragile form of a jellyfish is remarkably well-suited to the conditions in which it lives, despite its otherworldly appearance. Its body is more than 95% water, therefore it has no bones or shells to weigh it down. Instead, its skin is very thin and covers the entirety of its body, no bones or shells to weigh it down. Comb jellies will consume other comb jellies that are larger than themselves, and they do this by biting off sections of those larger jellies using specialized cilia structures in their mouths. Number 18. Fang Tooth From one glance at a common fang tooth fish, it's clear how this species received its name. A common fang tooth has big, sharp teeth for catching food that comes its way. Just like much deep sea fish, these fish are pretty little, despite their frightening appearance. The largest of the two species, the common fang tooth, barely reaches a maximum length of 16 centimeters, 6.3 inches. Although it's unclear whether this was an adult or a juvenile, the largest short horned fang tooth ever measured was about 6 centimeters, 2.4 inches long, suggesting that there may be larger ones. These fish are so called because of their fang like teeth, their most distinguishing characteristic. They look particularly terrifying because of their big protruding jaws and needle-like teeth. One of the most amazing things about fang-toothed fish is that carnivorous fish living in the deep sea frequently have unusually large teeth. Other fish species like viper fishes, dagger tooths, bristle mouths, barracudas, and angler fishes also exhibit this trait. Although sea monsters with extraordinarily long teeth are common, the fang-toothed fish's teeth differ. Compared to their size, it is believed that they have the largest teeth of any 
tiny fish in the ocean. They evolved so that an additional pair of sockets have formed close to their brains to accommodate their teeth. Number 17. Anglerfish Anglerfish are nightmare-inducing. National Geographic calls them perhaps the ugliest mammal on Earth. They are not incorrect. Their dead gaze and sharp teeth are scary. Their mystery keeps us engaged. Deep sea carnivores are rarely observed alive since they reside hundreds of meters underwater. If one is captured in a net or washes up, it's dead. Parasitic mating permanently joins male anglers smaller than females. Females consume organs like eyes. Males eventually become sperm sacs that females can use to have babies. Female fish can bear six or more males. Anglerfish's heads have a glowing lure. The lure's luminescence comes from bacteria that attract creatures. Before the victim understands the bait isn't edible, they're the angler supper. The fact that only little is known about anglerfish and their habitat makes them even stranger. As a result of this harsh environment where everything is dark and the air pressure is great, species like the anglerfish have evolved with peculiar characteristics that are unique to them. Because food is rare so far below sea level, the anglerfish had to take advantage of every opportunity to catch prey, which is why it evolves such an abnormally big mouth and a distensible stomach. Number 16. Deep Sea Dragonfish Even though they don't get much bigger than a half foot, deep sea dragonfish are at the top of their food chain, just like sharks, bears, and other apex predators. Its power comes partly from its jaw, which is much bigger than it needs to be and has sharp teeth that look like fangs. This lets it eat animals that are up to half its size. Dragonfish can also glow in the dark. They achieve this with the help of special organs all over their bodies and a barbel that sticks out from their bottom jaw. This bluish light that the animal makes itself is thought to attract both prey and possible mates. But, like many other deep sea animals, we don't know much about dragonfish. They found that the dragonfish's teeth are made up of a layer of proteins that look like enamel and a layer of dentin, which is more like bone. But the fish has come up with a unique way to hide its teeth, even compared to transparent parts of nature, like the ice cornea. These teeth have a nanoscale structure, which means they are composed of hydroxyapatite, nanocrystals in an amorphous matrix. There's a lot needed to figure out how these strange fish live. Number 15. Caunius borealis The Cephalopoda class is made up of goncoric animals. Adult males and females usually die soon after laying eggs or raising young. Mating behavior Males do different things to attract females they want to mate with. During mating, the male grabs the female and puts the hectocotylus into the female's mantle cavity, where fertilization usually happens. Life cycle when embryos hatch, they live as plankton for a while until they get bigger and move to the bottom where they live as adults. Even though they only get up to 50 centimeters long, these strange deep sea squids still find ways to be different. You might also notice that its tentacles are above its head when it swims. I guess it's how Snooky's hair looks with a pompadour. Hey, if you live at the bottom of the ocean, you can't keep up with the latest hairstyles, can you? Number 14. Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse The Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse is a reef fish in the family of Labradae. It's mostly found in Japan and China. Besides this, you can find them in South Korea and North Korea. This type of fish is quite big and can grow between 35.4 and 39.3 inches long. The chin is attracted to the large, wet-scaled face, which is connected to the forehead by the forehead. Most of the time, they live alone and swim around coral reefs, where they hunt other marine animals independently. Females and young animals have smaller protrusions and lower jaws than adult males. Most of the time, a single male lives with many females, which makes them very territorial. Most of the time, a fight will break out after a perceived trespass. Like the main species, the color of its body changes as it ages. The sides and fins of adults are covered with white lines, except for the pectoral fins, which have a complicated black pattern. But fry and young fish have different color patterns and are usually more orange than red when they first hatch. This fish has a unique face with a big bump on its head and a big, thick chin. In females, both of these features are smaller. The young fish are orange and have no resemblance to the adults. This fish is very territorial and fights between males and gets violent. Number 13. Vampire Squid there are many scary monsters in books and movies that are good for Halloween scares, but they don't come close to some scary sea creatures. Are you scared of vampires? Wait until you see a vampire squid. 
The vampire squid is different because it is a cephalopod, a type of animal with a head and tentacles. In fact, in 1903, it was mistakenly thought to be an octopus. As if these things weren't confusing enough, it has a gelatinous shape that makes it look like a jellyfish. You may be wondering where this animal's name comes from. Well, the vampire squid has red eyes and will use its eight arms to make a web to protect itself. A web of skin connects its arms, so when it does this, it looks like a vampire raising its cape. Photophores, organs that make light, are all over the vampire squid. This means that vampire squids can turn themselves on and off using a chemical process called bioluminescence. Nearby predators can't see it when it turns off its photophores in the dark water where it usually lives. Vampire squids avoid the light, just like their namesake. They live between 300 and 3,000 feet below the ocean surface, where it isn't much oxygen and there isn't much light. Number 12. Japanese Spider Crab Japanese spider crabs may look like something from a 1950s science fiction movie, but they are very kind. And they are huge. The crab is the largest of the 60,000 species of crustaceans on Earth. It can be up to 12 and a half feet long from one front claw to the other. They are also one of the world's biggest arthropods. Animals with no backbone, skeletons on the outside, and appendages with more than two joints. In this case, those parts are the crab's ten legs. On the Pacific side of Japan, the spider crabs live as far south as Taiwan and as deep as 1,640 feet below the surface. They lay their eggs in the shallower end of that range. They do best when it's about 50 degrees. In these waters, their mottled orange and white bodies, cream-colored undersides, and spiny, oval shells blend in with the rocks on the ocean floor. Because of their round shells and long legs, Japanese spider crabs are often called spider crabs. The short eye stalks of these animals are also backed and fronted by spines. Males are bigger than females, and the legs that hold their claws are bigger than males. However, females have wider abdomens so they can hold more eggs. Number 11. Goblin Shark the very strange-looking goblin shark has a long, pointed snout and a lot of long, sharp teeth. On the other hand, the fish lives in deep water and doesn't hurt people. The goblin shark has a shovel-shaped nose, a flabby body, and a weakly developed lower lobe on the end of its tail. One thing that makes the goblin shark stand out is that its mouth sticks out. The mouth can move back under the eye or forward under the nose. The species lives near the bottom of the ocean up to about 1,200 meters deep. People have caught the goblin shark in different parts of the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. In Australia, it has been seen off coasts of New South Wales, Tasmania, and maybe even South Australia. Based on specimens and public sightings in Australian museums, the map below shows where the species lives in Australia. When it eats, the goblin shark's jaws move forward faster than any other shark species. The bottom of the nose has a lot of holes. These pores are the outside openings of the organs that sense electricity, called the ampullae or Lorenzini. Most likely, the goblin shark finds its prey by being able to sense electric fields. It's not thought to harm people. Number 10. Atlantic Wolffish The large head, strong jaws, and large canine teeth of the Atlantic wolffish help it hunt and eat hard-bodied or spiny invertebrates like sea urchins, crabs, and large marine snails, and so on. They grow up to 5 feet long, 1.5 meters. Most of the time, Atlantic wolffish live alone, but when it's time to breed, they pair up. Both males and females watch over the eggs until they hatch. Fishes don't usually care for their young this much. People have even seen them mate, lay eggs in public aquariums, and watch over them for months. These fish only live in the cold waters of the North Atlantic Ocean, and their blood has a natural chemical that keeps it from freezing. Atlantic wolffish are good to eat, and people fish for them all over its range, both as a hobby and other times as a business. Scientists have seen a big drop in its numbers over the last few decades. It takes a long time to grow up and is probably rare to begin with. It's a species of concern in the United States. Many ecologists think that the Atlantic wolffish is a keystone species in the food webs of the North Atlantic Ocean because it controls the numbers of sea urchins and other invertebrates. There is a need to think about ways to protect this predator of rocky reefs. Number 9. Hagfish Hagfish are frequently regarded as the most repulsive creatures in the water, if not on the entire planet. The four pairs of tiny sensing tentacles that encircle the eel-like critters' mouths help them find food, including the remains of much larger species. 
When they locate their prey, they burrow face first into it and create a tunnel that extends deep into its flesh. Even if they appear ugly, they are unquestionably unique and just because an animal seems repugnant to human senses doesn't imply that they don't need our care and protection. They belong to the group of fish known as Agnatha, which lacks jaws around 100 species in total. Hagfish secrete a slime to fend off potential predators and competing fish that might try to take their food. Their bodies include glands that, when stimulated, release stringy proteins that, when exposed to seawater, expand to form the clear, gooey substance. Hagfish can easily escape when being assaulted by predators because of this slime. While the hagfish can slither away, a larger fish hunting for a meal instead gets a mouthful of slime. A hagfish may sneeze out its slime-filled nostril and tie its body into a knot to prevent the slime from leaking down its face, preventing it from choking on its slime. Number 8. Grenadiers About 300 species of common deep-sea fishes belonging to the family Macroeuridae that can be found along the ocean floor in warm and temperate climates are known as grenadiers sometimes known as rat tail. A typical grenadier has a big head, a body that tapers, and a long, rat-like tail. The anal and second dorsal fins line the top and bottom of the fish. It has big eyes and a mouth on the back of its head. Its nose often gets bigger, probably helps it find food in the mud. The frequently expanded nose probably helps white rummaging around in the mud for food. Some species have sound-producing paired muscles linked to the swim bladder, whereas others have light organs. The fish is typically between 1 and 2 feet 30 to 60 centimeters in length. These fish are located in the midnight zone at the benthopelagic level. This particular species of fish have high body concentrations of the chemical TMAO. If not, water would flow from low salt regions such as the fish's body to height salt regions, the surrounding ocean water. Without this molecule, the ocean water surrounding the fish would hydrate them. The compounds that give marine animals their fishy odor are TMAO and their breakdown product TMA. This creepy looking individual has a large grenadier fish sized mouth. Typically, this species can subsist slightly above the ocean surface. Number 7. Chimera A mythical creature that is a mix of a lion, a goat, and a snake is often called a chimera. Even though these chimeras have nothing in common with the chimeras from Greek mythology, the word still sounds mysterious. Ghost sharks, ratfishes, spookfishes, and rabbitfishes are all names for chimeras. Each of these names comes from something about how the chimera looks. The fish has a reddish-brown body with light mottling and longitudinal stripes on the dorsal side of the trunk that continues onto the paired and median fins. It also has long, thin pelvic clasps that are split for more than one-third of their length and the distal edges of the pelvic fins are straight and not rounded. The body is long, thin, and tapers from the head to the whip-like tail filament. The length of the whip-like tail filament is between 44 and 160% of the length of the whole body. The snout is softly pointed, and the head is big. Huge eyes that take up 25% to 51% of the head. On the head, the lateral line canals look like open grooves, but they are much bigger on the snout. The preopercular and the orolateral line canal split into the infraorbital canal. The oral and preopercular canals can share a small branch in one version of this setup. The pectoral fins, which are triangular and narrow at the ends, reach the base of the pelvic fin. Number 6. Sarcastic Fringe Head There are a lot of animals in the ocean with, let's say, strange names. Just take the frogfish, the blobfish, and the flamboyant cuttlefish, to name a few. But one marine species aren't as well known and might have the strangest name. People, this is the snarky fringehead. The sarcastic fringehead is a type of blenny. It is brownish gray with red or green spots, which makes it easy to spot. They have heads and jaws that are too big for their bodies and long, thin bodies. Even though they can grow to be about a foot long, they are usually between 3 and 8 inches long. The sarcastic fringehead. Neoclinus blanchard is native to the eastern Pacific and likes to hide in shells and other cracks along the soft, muddy bottom. They have even been known to stay in bottles or cans in places with more pollution. It will look for a place to hide that is big enough for its body, then wait for some time to swim or walk by that it doesn't see coming. They are known to be very territorial and will attack anyone who threatens them, even other fringe heads or scuba divers. The sarcastic fringe head opens its huge mouth to scare away its enemy and protect its territory. They have jaws that are made to fan out to the side like the cockroach alien from the movie Men in Black. This makes them look bigger and scarier. Number 5. The Barrel Eye Even the name Barrel Eye Fish sounds a little strange. 
The barrel eye fish is one of the strange creatures that live in the deep sea. This tiny, strange fish is called a spook fish because its head is clear, its eyes are barrel shaped, and its face is upward. Barrel eye fish live in deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. This strange fish has a clear head and eyes that look like tubes. It lives in the deep sea in a place called the Twilight Zone by scientists. This mid level ocean area is just out of reach of sunlight. The barrel eye lives between 2,000 and 2,600 feet deep in the ocean, 600 to 800 meters. Its eyes look up to find its favorite food, usually small crustaceans stuck in the tentacles of siphonophores, by looking at the shadows they make in the light from above. Their long, flat fins let them float without moving. The barrel eye fish has organs that light up down its body. It has very sensitive, tube-shaped eyes protected by a green fluid shield. This helps it find prey even when it's completely dark in the deep sea. People often think that their two oval-shaped olfactory organs, which are above their mouth and look like nostrils, are their eyes giving them a sad look. Number 4. The Faceless Cusk Eel A strange big fish with no face landed on the deck a few days ago. It came from 4,000 meters below the surface, where the pressure is very high, the water is only 10 Celsius, and there isn't much to see on the seafloor. The faceless cusk eel, or Typhlonus nasus, is a blind fish that is not a real eel. It has tiny eyes on the underside of its head buried under its skin. It was first seen in Australia in the late 1800s and was found there again in 2017. When it was found again, so much time had passed that some scientists thought it was a new species. It can be found from the Arabian Sea to Hawaii, but it isn't seen very often. It lives at a depth of 3,935 to 5,100 meters, 12,910 to 16,732 feet, where there is a lot of pressure and it is very cold. As was already said, its eyes are on the back of its head and under its skin. It has its mouth under its body. These characters together make it look like it doesn't have a face. It can get as long as 28.5 centimeters, 11.2 inches almost as long as a ruler. Even though it looks like a slimy fish, it's a vertebrate. It has a small mouth with teeth that are close together. Scientists think that they eat a wide range of crustaceans based on their research. Number 3. The Blobfish The blobfish is sad. It has one of the worst names for a sea creature, right up there with sea cow. Even though it already had a bad name, voters from the Ugly Animal Preservation Society chose the blobfish as the world's ugliest animal in 2013. Still, the blobfish didn't always look like this. No, in his natural environment, he's quite handsome, and maybe we should try to understand what he's been through before we judge his looks. The blobfish is called Psychrolutes microporos when a certain preservation society is not cruelly teasing it. The species can only be found around New Zealand and Australia, between 3,300 and 4,500 feet below the ocean surface. It turns out that these fish have a pretty interesting life. Well, at least for fish. So deep in the ocean, for example, the blobfish has to deal with 100 times the pressure we feel on land. You should try to live there for a few days and see what you look like. No one knows for sure what the blobfish eats or how it mates. It's dark down there and so far down that expeditions aren't practical. But most blobfish live 100 years or longer, which gives them an advantage over us. Even though the Ugly Animal Preservation Society gave them an award, it turns out that the blobfish isn't even in danger. Number 2. The High Fin Lizardfish What would happen if you met a deep sea lizardfish face to face? If we're being honest, the answer is probably running, screaming, or passing out. With their big teeth that stick out and dark eyes, these guys don't look very friendly. But these deep sea dwellers are worth learning more about. Who knows, you may end up loving that scary mug. The hyphen lizardfish, or Bathosaurus, mollus, can be up to 31 inches long and likes to live at least 2,000 meters deep, 6,560 feet. No one has ever seen them in the tropical eastern Pacific. They live in deep water everywhere in the world except for the poles. But you don't have to be at a high latitude to get to cold water. Deep water is cold enough. Lizardfish live in deep water where the temperature is about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. The longest deep sea lizardfish was 33 inches long and weighed 15 pounds. Lizardfish in the deep sea are both male and female simultaneously. This means that at the same time they can make both male and female gametes. So, they can mate with any partner they meet instead of possibly waiting for someone of the opposite sex. Number 1. Rhizophysid Siphonophore 
Some siphonophores are up to 40 meters long, making them some of the longest animals on Earth. They live at depths of more than 3,000 feet. The order has a wide range of appearances and behaviors, with some species being able to give off light and others having cells that sting like jellyfish. This is why we should be afraid of and careful around the ocean. No one knows what else might be down there. Even though a siphonophore may look like a single organism, each one is a colonial organism made up of medusoid or polypoid zooids that are specialized in their shape and function. Zooids are groups of cells that grow from a single fertilized egg and join together to form colonies that can reproduce, digest, float, stay in place, and move with jet propulsion. The pelagic zone is where most colonies live. These colonies are long, thin, and clear. Like other hydrozoans, some siphonophores give off light to find and attack their prey. Many sea creatures glow blue or green, but a siphonophore in the genus Arena was only the second life form ever found to glow red, the first one being the scaleless dragonfish. Would you love to join us to go deeper into the sea, or are you scared? Share your opinion in the comment section.